Hey guys, what is up? Sparrow the Small Dragon here for another video. This is going to be a um, surprise kit playthrough. I've been playing with surprise kit pretty often. It's really fun having the random probability of getting a kit. Might be good, might be bad. It's always just fun. It's sort of like improv in theater where you don't know what you have to do. It's all on the spot. You get Fletcher, figure out something to do. So figure out something you can actually do with the kit. You get Ender Mage, well, figure out something to do. Uh, so as you can see, I got a village. I found it before the game, so I went to go read it. It was the worst village I've ever found. Iron pickaxe, one diamond, one iron. So basically, diamond sho diamond shovel, iron shovel, iron axe. Pretty cool, right? Um, I found a random swamp right next to it. I was going to go over to a jungle that I found, but I see a swamp, just got to jump at the occasion. So basically, at this point, I'm uh, pretty late for collecting materials. Game's already started. I'm just now collecting my logs. Uh, honestly, it wasn't worth it getting the blacksmiths and wasting time. I could have been tracking, could have been getting some extra kills. It wasn't worth the freaking diamond shovel. So guys, uh, in my spare time, actually, I've been uh, coming up with new kit ideas. Uh, some were actually pretty interesting. One, for example, was uh, called Jack-O-Lantern, and you spawn with the pumpkin. Um, when the pumpkin's in your hotbar, you could right-click it, and it would automatically take the place of whatever's in your helmet slot. If you had nothing, it would just automatically go there. Um, when a Stomper jumps on a Jack-O-Lantern, uh, damage would be reversed. And so Stomper would take all the damage the Jack-O-Lantern would have taken. As long as well, he's wearing pumpkin. Uh, another thing that Jack-O-Lantern did was um, it would not be able to be one-shot. So no matter what, it would always have half a heart as long as it was full heart. Uh, so if a Jack-O-Lantern jumped off 120 blocks, it would end up having half a heart. Um, that's just one of the five kit ideas I came up with. I actually found it pretty fun to make kits. I don't know if it's underpowered or overpowered. Alright guys, so here comes my first kill this game. It's actually two for two. Uh, I find iron on the way down. I'm gonna get it. The guy's underground, so I assume he's melting iron or something. Uh, I kill first one. He's absolutely nothing. He's partnered down some staircase, so I take them both out easily. First two kills of the game. Um, since I, there's a bunch of iron in their tunnel, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up. Might as well get some full iron. I don't want to be killed by teams or anything. Teams are absolutely the worst thing possible for Hunger Games, especially when it's, they use it in a cheap manner in which they can't do anything alone. Now that I think about it, I haven't told you what kit surprise I got. Uh, you can see the Monk Rod in my, in my inventory. It's having a pickpocketer Monk. I ended up getting Monk. Uh, pretty good, actually. I ended up playing with this surprise kit for a little bit of games. I bought the kit just today. I played with Beastmaster. I played with monster i played with a bunch of just crap my first my first kit was surprise was monster can you imagine how how horrible i felt i just bought it for 250 and they gave me a monster oh so basically on my way down uh, to kill those two guys i found some iron she could go ahead and cook it yeah i uh, mean my four furnaces as i was saying guys um the kits that i've been making uh if ever you're bored if, if you're in class or if you're just at home and you don't know what to do doesn't really matter if you're bored, just pull out a sheet of paper and come up with some kid ideas. It's actually really fun to do. Uh, I came up with five of them, and most of them were actually pretty decent. Sailor, for example, is sort of like Digger, where you just spawn a giant 10 by 10 pit of water, and uh, you get regen when you're in it for 10 seconds. I mean, simple, but it's actually a pretty good idea. If any of you watching don't have me on Skype already and uh, want a teammate, uh, you can just add me on Skype. I'll put my Skype name in. Uh, Put my Skype name in the video description because you know I always love teaming with just friends and just people in general. It's always cool to meet new people. So uh, here you see my fourth or my fifth or my sixth kill. Some guys raid over someone told I don't know if they're teammates. I don't. I think they are teammates. I kill the first one. He doesn't have any soup. Uh, second one's trying to um, just I don't know get me into his hole by breaking some sand. Not very effective. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and get some extra sand. And just pour it on his head. It'll scare him out of his hole and I'll be able to just hit him with my sword. Or it'll kill him on the spot. So I go ahead and put four sand. He, I hear him taking a crap load of damage. It's pretty funny how much sand can do alone. Uh, so here you see him getting out of his hole because it's obviously scared. He doesn't want to drown in the sand. As he's getting out, I hit him once and he's dead. So guys, last resort, sand. Sand is fucking OP. I've noticed I have a weird habit during Hungry Games to press tab a lot. Uh, I just, I don't know what it is. I don't even remember pressing tab too much. I just, right there. 
I just press tab. I don't even know. I don't remember. I don't really check the amount of people. I just, while running around, I press tab. Am I the only one with this sort of habit? Am I the only one with a habit in Hunger Games? I don't even recall doing it, so it's really just, it just feels odd. So we're closing on my uh, seventh or eighth PvP now. Uh, two guys come out with iron swords and iron helmets. Uh, I take them out pretty easily. Uh, they don't have soup, and soup is obviously the main point of uh, of Minecraft Hunger Games. If you don't have soup, you're basically dead. I forgot to mention that my cousin's actually in the server. Uh, we were planning on doing a live uh, gameplay of uh, just surprise. It's actually it would be pretty interesting just to see. I just had improv with a with, uh, surprise kit. Uh, my partner ended up just joining in last second. He died, and when he, after he died, he picked kit surprise. He got a digger. So what he did was just dig fucking, I don't know, 100 blocks underground. And just He's been sitting here all game. He ends up actually being final two and just too funny. So all he did was camp, and I did all the work, and he got a free final two. Most people in the server don't actually have any soup, and that's uh, one of probably the biggest reasons I won, because uh, there was teams. Uh, here's why I just killed some guy right over a second guy, I guess. And uh, he actually had soup, but he was extremely easy to take out. Uh, right underground from him, there's someone who is cooking iron. Uh, he ends up thanking me for some reason. I don't know what I did, but he's thanking me. So uh, what I'm going to do is just dig down. I'm hoping to get some iron because I don't have much at the moment. And so I find him. He's surrounded by light, which means either torch or furnace. Hoping for the furnace. Uh, kill him obviously without problem because he's missing his soup. Found a mob spawner because he has a bucket, he has his saddle, he has his iron. So basically, I just got myself full iron plus a bunch of extra. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go over to my partner who's in this giant ass pit that he made with his digger kit. I'm gonna give him whatever I have extra because I don't know if he wants to protect himself. <laughs> um, I'm at my cousin's pit now. Uh, we're on Skype at the moment, but uh, yeah, he's just making his pit separately not really teamed with me i guess uh so i'm just tossing down whatever armor i can a bit of food some blocks and yeah gonna go kill the final guy uh he's actually really far off so i'm going to skip to that part shorten up the video and we'll, i guess make it just quicker for you guys okay so the final guy's uh ran on top of this tree puss in boots basically uh, I hit him a couple times. I'm full on. He has absolutely nothing, so he's extremely easy to take out, even though he has soup. He doesn't put up that good of a fight. Then again, I guess sort of he's giving up hope. I'm in full iron. Why would you even try? Uh, so, yeah, basically, me and my cousin left, and um, I asked my cousin if I could have the win because he did absolutely nothing. And he knows that I kill him anyway. I have Ender Pearl, so I can just jump down there. Uh, so, he's just going to go up and he's going to kill himself using his own pit. At least the pit was put to use in this game. <laughs> That's all he really cared about. And finally, guys, we're at the end. You can see that Lord of Blue Eyes 1, Digger, fell really far. Uh, he killed himself in the pit. I was actually hoping for him to let me kill him because I'd give me the extra kill. I don't know, make the game look better. Uh, but that's fine. I won a new game. Uh, surprise, this is my first one with Surprise Kit. And uh, But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.